All right, I have the privilege of fishing with Jeff Oliver and Colin today, and out here in the inner marsh. Twitch bait. It was a beautiful morning, but we knew what was coming. There was a forecast for 15 to 20 knot winds in just a couple of hours. So are you, what are you thinking about deeper? You're I think. About here? Look at that. Oh, yeah, right there. Dang it. Now, this isn't my confidence bait. <laughs> I put this X trap back on, first cast. Fish. It's even a keeper fish. It's hard to uh, argue with a bait when you put it on and first cast, you got a fish already. Is it a good fish? Yeah. It's good. It's a keeper, I think. Oh! Hit the boat. Womp, womp, womp. Learn about this boat. <laughs> Top water back on. Yeah. There he is. That nice fish. <laughs> we fished areas where Jeff had found fish a couple of days before, but the wind was howling today and the catching was sparse. So we kept working our way through St. Bernard Parish looking for water with fish. Here we are at Hopedale Marina, my favorite place it seems like. So we're a long way from the launch, but when you have a boat, you can travel. And so we headed for marshes east of the Murgo Channel. Crazy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, <laughs> what have I caught? What? <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's like my record smallest trout ever. Pretty much. I'm terrible about that. Boat sink. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't like to hang around. You know, if I have live bait, mm -hmm. then you kind of have to do it anyway. Right. Kind of do that, but. Uh -oh. Yes. Trout, baby. Nice trout too. That's what I'm talking about. This is why I don't. Well, I believe there are trout elsewhere. So we, this was a spot in a bayou bend and it was four feet deep. And there's a trout. So we are trying a new pattern, fishing these deep areas of this bayou that we're following back into the marsh. So there we go. Colin's on it already, man. Nice, within a couple minutes, Colin's already on it. A nice trout too, beautiful trout, 15 inches. Ooh, the, is that the shadow wrap? Yep. Okay, white one with a orange stomach. Go ahead, dude, cut my fish. <laughs> So Jeff had a hit right first cast in this spot. Another hit. Another hit. So what we got here is this is, we got water blowing out of this pond. It blows through this bend in the bayou. It's 13 foot off the back of the boat. And then all the way down the bayou, it's like nine to seven. All the way back through there. There seemed to be fish stacked up. We stopped at the last, the last band only produced one fish. It's kind of a small area. So, Colin is hammering. Man, I may have to put my jerk bait back on. That's two fish in a row, two casts, two fish on the shadow wrap. Dang. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Jig catches trout too. Yeah, big ass fish here. Yeah, I think that's 
They here. Captain John, put us on the fish. <laughs> I'll get out the jerk bait. Yeah, they're hitting it on the way oh, down. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. It's suspended. Because that first hit, it was like as soon as I hit the water. Mm hmm. Well, we have a fish tonight. There we go. I am using this light jig head too. Hey, I got me one. I'm gonna strap him back in the water. <laughs> All right, so this thing should produce then. That shadow wrap just sits there and suspends. Oh Ooh, my goodness. Man. Wow. God, <laughs> talk about hitting it hard. That thing took drag on the strike. Yeah, that first one I caught, I thought it was a good uh, red Man. He was not going to lose this piece of meat. Very nice. So, shad wrap jerk bait. X wrapped. I'm getting confused. There is a shad wrap. There we go. Shadow wrap on him. Another nice fish. So, another thing about this spot versus where we've been fishing so far is the water is about what, two foot or more visibility. We've been fishing in a lot of dirty water up to this point. We've had to go way inside the marsh to find this nicer water. And here are the trout. Should have left the jig. Yeah. I left it right there, I got it, it's handy. Yeah, I may actually go back to the jig now. Do you have it still tied on your other rod, right? There we go. Yeah, go back to the jig. Yeah, <laughs> back to the jig. Trout. Okay, so Colin taught me something here. Leave the X wrap sink, let it still in the water. And that has produced a couple fish now. Oh, there he goes. So they haven't given up on the jerk bait bite. He'll go back. Yeah, good here. You can use my There he fish. Found him. Yeah. Oh, I just missed mine. Oh. Pull my jig down. Wrap. Coming up. Uh-oh. Is that a redfish? Nice. Yeah, it's a little redfish. Pretty he's close to a 16. Close. His brother. That's the good camera. Yeah, he, he took it about right away. He's up on that yeah. grass line. It's shallow. Yeah. That's a 15. I'll measure it anyway, but. Pretty little fish. Oh, crap. That's a, the, that's a big bass. <laughs> Man, that scared me. Big one. That's how that one. Wow. Hit. Nice bass. Man, when the Lake Catherine got me, because you think it's a shot at first. You just see a big broad side. That's a big marsh bass. See, the marsh bass are here. Wow. Yeah, we should have been in a bass tournament. We also fished straight sections of this bayou and other bayous where the water was clean, but we didn't catch fish in the straight sections. They only seemed to be in the bends. We made it all the way to where Bayou St. Mallow enters Lake Bourne before we turn back. The lake water was nice there, but we didn't catch anything. Go down. City's broken. That way. Oh, yeah. 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 
know. They know they, they yeah. professional. That's why I didn't ask. That's why I didn't ask him. Like, oh, can I help you? Because you know those guys know what they're doing. Yeah. He just looked like an idiot. Yeah, that guy's been doing this his whole. Yeah. Process. He was. He wasn't panicking right. about anything. We broke down. <laughs> we just broke down. Watch out. Yeah. Just don't hit us. That's yeah. all. Don't worry. Otherwise, we're good. The last area that we fished was deep inside the marsh and the water was clean in there but it was only about a foot to two foot deep with grass on the bottom so it was really ideal top water fishing territory but with the wind and the waves even in those inner marsh lakes it's very difficult to fish top water but we still managed to catch a few grabbed it right behind big bass. Not big bass. Not bad a bad. Not, not a bad, bad bass. I think this is a, uh, coming home with me. Well, the name of the game today was clean water. If we found clean water and moving water with some depth, we caught a few trout. We saw a lot of dirty water today. So we ran all the way from Re Reggio to Saint Bayou St. Malo over on Lake Bourne. Went through a lot of marsh and uh, had a good time. I got to see some areas I'd never seen before, so uh, that's always a good time. Hey, I hope you can get out and fish, and thanks for watching.